Scientists and archaeologists have unearthed an ancient cave hidden and sealed for over a thousand years. The team, composed of researchers from the National Institute of Anthropology and History in Mexico, embarked on a quest to breach the cave's confines, driven by a thirst for knowledge and the allure of the unknown. What they found inside, however, was beyond their wildest imaginations, stirring not only sheer astonishment, but also a chilling sense of fear as they stumbled upon secrets perhaps meant to remain hidden. The discovery was made public in December 2023, revealing that the entrance to this ancient cave, located in the historic city of Tulum, Quintana Roo, Mexico, was deliberately obstructed by a massive stone. This finding suggests a purposeful effort to conceal its entrance. The researchers' determination saw them removing the stone barrier, leading to an entrance into a world preserved in time. Inside, they were greeted by an astonishing sight, the remains of eight human skeletons. The first skeleton they encountered was partially buried under a rock, with the upper half of its body inside the cave and its legs protruding outward, as if caught in a desperate attempt to escape. The preservation of these skeletal remains, including bones and skulls found in two small chambers, was remarkably intact, a testament to the cave's environment, which proved ideal for maintaining their integrity. But the discoveries didn't stop at human remains. The archaeologists also found skeletons of animals, including dogs, deer, frogs, turtles, and even sharks. This eclectic mix of human and animal bones led the team to conclude that the cave was likely a site of burial ceremonies where humans and animals were laid to rest together in a poignant, shared farewell. This sensational find not only opens a new chapter in our understanding of ancient rituals and societies, but also reminds us of the mysteries that lie waiting in the shadows of our world, veiled by time and earth, whispering tales of the past, if only we dare to listen. In the enchanting realm of Cantabria, Spain, lies the Lagarma Cave Complex, a site that rivals the most epic of archaeological tales, Unveiled to the world in 1995, this complex has since revealed five distinct levels, each a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of ancient humans. The caves hold evidence of human activity dating back an astonishing 300,000 years, with one of its most celebrated discoveries being the captivating cave paintings adorning its walls. Led by the astute minds of Pablo Arias and Roberto Antonon from the University of Cantabria, a groundbreaking study unearthed archaeological treasures from the Paleolithic era, a period marked by early hominins' initial forays into toolmaking from stone, spanning roughly from 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago. The discovery left researchers in awe as they stumbled upon what is arguably the most well-preserved Paleolithic dwelling on the planet. Detailed in the journal La Garma, Long-Term Human Activity in a Karst System, this historic chamber with its oval shape and an area of about 54 square feet is demarcated by an assembly of stone blocks and stalagmites. At its heart lies a hearth surrounded by everyday items that paint a vivid picture of cave dwellers' daily lives in total, an impressive 4,614 objects have been catalogued, encompassing tools for crafting stone artifacts, as well as horns and bones. These items were integral to butchering animals and processing hides. Even personal ornaments worn by the cave's inhabitants were uncovered, predominantly fashioned from the bones of deer, horses, and bison. This revelation not only deepens our understanding of early human civilization, but also illuminates the profound connection between our ancestors and their natural environment, showcasing their remarkable adaptability and creativity. The Lagarma Cave Complex stands as a beacon of human history, inviting us to explore the depths of our past and the origins of our collective ingenuity.
Venturing further into Europe's hidden past, we uncover a tale of ancient artistry sealed away for 57,000 years in the caves of the Loire Valley, France. In a groundbreaking study published in the American journal PLOS One in June 2023, researchers have brought to light the oldest known cave carvings in France, and quite possibly all of Europe. These phenomenal engravings, etched into the cave walls of the Loire region, hail from the Neanderthal era, predating the arrival of Homo sapiens to Western Europe by millennia. Jean-Claude Marquet of the University of Tours, France, along with his colleagues, who meticulously analyzed the carvings, have identified these as the earliest known Neanderthal engravings to date. This discovery offers a fascinating glimpse into the artistic abilities and cultural expressions of the Neanderthals, who thrived in Europe for centuries before their extinction around 40,000 years ago. Yet the meaning behind these engravings remains an enigma. Through detailed analysis and three-dimensional modeling, comparing them with other wall engravings, the researchers concluded that these carvings were indeed intentionally created by human hands in a structured manner. However, the abstract nature of these finger grooves leaves their significance open to interpretation. Now let's travel to an archaeological dig site in Italy. On February 24, 1939, a Neanderthal site was serendipitously discovered during limestone extraction at the base of Morone Hill. Named Guattari Cave, this discovery was initially managed by Professor Alberto Carlo Blanc. The cave's enduring concealment was likely due to landslide debris blocking access for centuries. Inside, the cave floor was littered with fossilized bones mixed with stones, sparking theories of Neanderthal cannibalism rituals involving the extraction and consumption of victims' brains. Decades later, scientists from the Archaeological Superintendency of Latina and the University of Tor Vergata in Rome unearthed more Neanderthal skull remains, along with animal fossils like deer, ancient cattle, horses, and hyenas. Remarkably, these skulls were well-preserved. One Neanderthal lived approximately between 100,000 and 90,000 years ago while eight others dated back to between 65,000 and 50,000 years ago. Published findings in 2019 debunked the earlier cannibalism theory, pointing instead to Stone Age hyenas as the culprits. However, scientists are still puzzled over whether the Neanderthals were hunted by hyenas or scavenged after dying from other causes, leaving us with a mystery that spans tens of thousands of years into our ancient past. Diving into the mysterious depths of the past, the Actun Tunachil Muknal Cave, commonly known as the ATM Cave, stands as a fascinating relic buried for thousands of years in Belize. This cave, first stumbled upon in 1989 and later opened to the public in 1998, harbors secrets that echo the ancient Maya civilization's connection to the divine. Dr. Jamie Awe, who pioneered archaeological exploration within its chambers from 1993 to 2000, uncovered that the ATM cave was revered as a sacred site, serving as a crucial conduit between the Maya people and their underworld deities, home to an astonishing array of artifacts left untouched in their original state. Over 1,400 items have been cataloged. These range from ceramic shards and pots of various sizes to water vessels, along with an assortment of tools and weapons utilized by the Maya. Venturing further into the cave reveals skeletal remains believed to be victims of ritual sacrifices. Among these, the most chilling discovery is that of the Crystal Maiden, a skeleton thought to have been offered up in a religious ritual. Archaeologists believe this young woman endured severe torture before being consigned to the cave where her body has lain for over 1,100 years. The position and condition of her bones suggest the tale of brutal treatment, casting a haunting light on the lengths to which ancient civilizations went to appease their gods. 
This discovery not only highlights the ATM cave as a site of significant archaeological importance, but also as a somber reminder of the Maya's deep spiritual practices and the sacrifices that accompanied them.